Welcome! It's Wednesday! Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> How is everybody doing out there? We're going to be playing, as per usual, new games on classic consoles. And uh, I'm James, and... I'm Erlen. And welcome to Wednesday's show where we play things we've played before, or do kind of special shows, not, uh, yeah. not looking at new stuff, kind of revisiting. Um, but today it's a little bit different. Uh, it <laughs> is... Uh, draconian and we're yeah, gonna be man. playing as part of um, the homebrew tournament um, I think I've talked about this to you but you haven't played this yet no have you? I've this is everybody who on homebrew <laughs> seems to say draconian is one of the cooler ones and it, it's at least the most complicated and amazing that it can exist on the Atari I think so it pushes a lot of boundaries in terms of graphics and sound things on the screen just general for like all way movement of things um it just looks beautiful and it's a great port of an arcade game called bosconian wow which i played actually in the arcade back when it was out and i really loved it and i seem to remember dying a lot <laughs> <laughs> like a lot when i played and i was like oh this is so hard but so cool at the same time and it was a quarter every time you died oh uh, yeah yeah Damn. you got punished monetarily <laughs> every time you died <laughs> Um, so welcome everyone. Hello, Arena Foot and Ground Trooper. Uh, he says, I'm here at the start again. I am sure I will mysteriously drop out unannounced. Lol, such is my life. That's okay. Such is all of our lives, Ground yep, Trooper. Just dropping out. <laughs> dropping I, out of everything. I feel like your name is apt, you know, given, <laughs> yes. given that sentence, man. You're yeah. going gonna to jump in the front line. <laughs> the avant-garde. Yeah, I may disappear, but I'll make it back. So this is the game that we're playing draconian and it hide. is out of yeah you gotta hide from the uh uh no still sensing something i'll get out of the way it's your face man. it is my face there we go it even senses sides of face so this is by spiceware um one of the uh, upper echelons of programmers in terms of complexity cool. uh daryl spice jr and i um, met him quite a while back um when he was releasing a game before this and i got him to sign it i think it was wow. uh, i think it was state frosty 2 or what, uh, what game was it i can't remember but i got him to sign it and um i love it i love the games that he picks he usually he, he goes back and forth between um ports of games and doing his own thing state frosty 2 was his own thing and this is a port yeah and a lot of the bigger name games are the ports from arcade games that just never made it to the 2600 because they were just too complicated at the time to 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 uh convert mm -hmm. over so they went for the easier ones you know it's um, it's kind of proper nostalgia proper retro it, you know it is take it's something like, you oh. played in the arcade on the console that you would have been playing at that time yes and and just wishing oh i wish i could have this back in the day and and a really good version and and sometimes they even revisit ones that did come yeah. to the 2600 and improve them, like Pac-Man. Everybody hated the Pac-Man that came out because it was so different. And now there's like super amazing 2600 ports of Pac-Man. And it's got a great manual as well. Um, I don't know if you know what that looks like. It's the car repair manuals. Oh, shit. I'm just going to show it to the audience here. Um, Once again. It's like the haze. Ah, ah backwards. Yep. There we go. Yeah, it focuses immediately as soon as I hide my face. That's so amazing. It does, it's there we go. Great, it's a great autofocus. It does. Feature. It works really well. <laughs> um, Except for when you want to look at manuals. So it's a great looking manual. Um, very glossy. It's very, very cool. Um, Nakamura class space fighter. <laughs> this, this is a famous chess player. Oh, Nakamura. is that where he's getting it from? Probably not. <laughs> it's just <laughs> a fun know. fact. There you go. There's the cartridge. Trying to hide. Oh, there that's we go. Hide. No, you're good. I'm, I'm, I cover your face with it, okay. so it works. There you go. You can come back now. Cool. So great design, great box design, great artwork all over it. So we're going to be taking part in round two of the homebrew tournament, and we did take part in round one as well. I'm trying to remember what the game was. We did. Oh, it was. Um, Super Cobra Arcade. Cool. And we didn't do too bad. 
somebody beat us after yeah. our, my score. I think I got fifth, fourth or fifth, and then I got bumped down. Something but, tells you know, me out of the two, you're going to do better on this draconian. Well, I, I have played it a lot. And I haven't played it, so. <laughs> so, that's fine. For beginner's luck. We'll see. We'll hey, see. You never know. That does happen. <laughs> um, so, this is round two. So, um, so, we have to play Quadrant A, Sector 1, Normal Level. Okay. Because there's easy, hard levels. And you can continue. Um, but I don't think we will. Well, okay. we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, because this is all about high scores, not levels. And usually with this type of game, I'm like going for levels. Let's yeah, get yeah. Highest level I can. And we did a broadcast of Draconian where we played through every single level. Damn. It took three and a half hours. Because <laughs> some of them were repeated after a yeah, while. Absolutely. So we just went for all the unique levels. Um, and just a... And this is the one with the uh, little... Um, oh yeah, this is a uh, this is cool. You told me this. That's story. right. So hide your face again. So this is I got third place. Okay, good. People can see it now. Okay. This is I got third place in level design wow. for this game. So my levels are in this game, which well, is I, very cool. You've gotten to play your own level. I have. <laughs> that's are, yeah, so it's that's kind of fun that uh, you get to have your own levels in in a game. Um, so the top score is absurd. Okay, what's the top score? 558,000. So that's probably not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Um, second place is 270,000. Which is that's, by Spiceware. So that's, yeah, the, that's, the, that's the creator himself. The creator himself. And the per person who got first is the guy who runs the tournament. Oh. I, I can't count those top two people. Can't, I, I just it's, it's kind of unfair. <laughs> He's the guy who's picking out the we've games. We've got LeBron James and Michael Jordan. <laughs> exactly. And you're just not, you just have to... You're like, I'm going to try to just get it in the basket. <laughs> yes. Yes, I got the PRGE model. Are you talking about the printout or the box art? I don't know. Um, I, bet he, I bet he's talking about the model. I don't yeah, know the model, person. because they gave out that model that said PRGE Portland Retro Gaming Expo um, the 3D model at the, at the expo if yeah. you bought your copy there uh, but mine says third place so that's a unique special, one special man very special so we're going to be aiming for this kind of level the 130,000 167,000 range how okay how is it how is the dude with 130 yeah, above I'd, 160 yeah i i think that got switched okay, and i've been right. adding things in afterwards as well ah, i see cuz i this was i copied it and then more people got scores and i had to manually put it in so i could keep track so that dude, should be an third. arena foot yeah. with 14,000 man arena that's, that's like dying instantly come on you can do better than that Hold just on. don't be my score <laughs> we'll, we'll see if i can if i can beat arena foot yeah this is gonna be my goal arena i'm sorry and you do it that's what i always do every time i have a goal to, I, to beat if i can be as good as arena my life will, <laughs> will be full okay. i'll be able to sleep at night <laughs> so we're gonna plug it in and start going i'll give you the first go at it okay and i'm gonna take a look at the manual Cool, this one right here. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, what is that? Uh, didn't work Something's out so well. Happening. Let's just try that again. You guys didn't see that, and you didn't need to because it was messy. Uh, oh, yeah. Messy. Cool. There we go. And you guys should have heard the Atari box also say some nice words. Um. I've been working on my books too much lately to play. Okay, here's the joystick. Oh, 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 I did a bunch of things. So you have okay. to set that back to normal. Normal. And Quadrant A, Sector 1, and you're good to go. Okay, I'll give you a quick rundown. Thank God. Shoot okay. everything. Okay. <laughs> but your main goal is to shoot these ships. Okay. Now you can kill them in two ways. You can shoot them at their weak point, which is through there. Or you can take out all six. And I usually do that. But we're playing for points. So killing so all three. So this might get you more points. But we'll be figuring that out on the oh, way. We're gonna, okay. Yeah. And it's just Quadrant A, Sector 1. That we're well, gonna, and then you keep playing. Keep playing. playing, playing. Cool. Yeah, because there's Sector 2 after you beat Sector 1. And then Sweet. it keeps going. So And Arena is 14,000. Yeah. That's so really, see. that's pretty low. Hold on, I'm hold not on. saying we anything bad about Arena. Cut down Arena. I'm not trying to cut down Arena. It is, 
<laughs> his excuse is he's, obviously valid because it's it's pretty low. He's been doing uh, work that we can never do. He's been cranking out books, book, and which is awesome. So keep working on the books. Okay. I'm just gonna jump in. I'll yeah, just, yeah, go for it. I mean, those are um, those are asteroids. Kill them. Hold on. You don't have to kill them. Oh. Yeah, there's speech in this. It's amazing. And you just have to be careful not to run into the remnants of things that have exploded. Because sometimes you'll shoot something and you'll be going towards it. Yeah, so you got to be careful of that. I see. And on the bottom, uh, bottom right, you've got a little radar where it has the little green. That shows you where the enemy bases are. Okay, I see. Um, so that if you're lost in space, you can um, find your way back to shoot wow, the last damn, one. Wow, this is, I can see what you mean by this being... Super advanced. Being like, like crazy. Crazy, crazy. See, you already got 2,000 points. Oh, but I just <laughs> but died. just died. I don't know how I died. I thought I was doing okay. Okay, so I'm going to check out the scoring. If it's in here. Ooh, maybe it's not in here. Oh. oh, there it is on the back. So shooting asteroids is not gonna win you the tournament. Any point. Okay. <laughs> it's ten points. It's sad, 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 and pathetic. See that kind of curved ship yeah. there? Oh uh, no, that's the wrong ship. Um, it's Hold a different. Hold on, I ship. gotta try to. I'm, I'm... There you yeah, go. So okay. now you've blown it up. That's the one way. That's the ship you have to kill. That that yellow one that, that comes. That yellow one. Okay. Because if you do not kill it when it comes on the screen, it'll report back. And then, and then all, a whole ton of enemies will come in and definitely kill you. Like, you're not going I'm, I'm, to... I'm, it doesn't matter how... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it does matter how good you are. That ship. you got to kill that oh, ship. Oh, okay. I'm done then. R.I.P., See, right? now it says... Yeah, R.I.P. It says condition red, and they'll throw everything they've got at you. Little do they know... That you're awesome. No. <laughs> and you'll just keep racking up the score. I'm done. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Uh, Arena Fun says, plus I play with a keyboard and Stella, it's much harder playing with a keyboard. This game all, is. I can imagine, sure. dude. Because you've know. got the four directions going at all times. Okay, like, you have to make. This is a twitchy game. Uh, mm. So, asteroids are 10 points. Pathetic. Oh, okay. Space mines are 20. Totally pointless as well. Rip? No, okay. I still got 11. <laughs> okay, okay. This is your last guy. It's my last guy. You're, you're already at 11. Okay. Okay. That was it. Keep going. Keep going. I have to. Okay. I have to figure out my strategy here. Okay. To maximizing points, in minimizing time. Um. Destroy a station is fifteen hundred. Destroying a station's weapons pod is two hundred. So, doing the pods is slow. And there's six of them, and it will give you twelve hundred points. Now, does it give you the points for destroying the whole thing after you get the six? I'm going to watch when you destroy the... I'm sure it does. Okay. So, so you got one more. Go. Yeah, it does. So you get all the points. But it's slow. You're not going to get... It's not too bad, actually. If you can do it in pretty quick order, you can rack up the points pretty good. So maybe that's a good, good idea. Because it's 1,200 points is quite a lot in the scheme of things. Because the biggest points is destroying a station or destroying all the ships in an E-type formation. So big points come from destroying ships in formation. You know how they come yeah. fly in in a bunch of fives or whatever? That's that's, that's big a pretty points. good one. Okay, cool. Yeah. It just it, keeps oh. any type of formation is big just points. Keep searching. Okay. Um spy ships, big points as well, those yellow ones, but you have to shoot them anyway, so it's not really that you have a choice. Um, so yeah, that's those are the big points, really. Ship formations. Dude, I suppose this here. And pods. I suppose to. The rock explosions don't kill you. The blue mine explosions will kill you. Oh, oh no, the enemy enemy explosions don't kill you either. So it's only the mines. Oh, I see. To, so if you get that whole formation, big oh. points. Two more. Come on. Oh, see, oh don't that's... sacrifice yourself to get it though. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't. Extra ships at 20,000, 70,000, and every 70,000 after. Okay. So, as I said, this was programmed by Daryl Spice Jr. Wow, that's um, a cool game, man. 
And it was, oh, get that guy. Oh, one second off. CDF Driver, co-written by Daryl Spice Jr., Chris Walton, Fred Quimby. Sound effects, music, digitized voices by Mike Haas. Ah, oh, he's supposed to. Damn. Uh, graphics and level design by Nathan Strum, the uh, amazing Nathan Strum who does graphics for just about all the, the big games. He's an amazing graphic artist for the 2600. He knows how to take advantage of the limitations and make things look beautiful. And the label, box art, manual design, and manual text by Nathan Strum as well. So he did all this too. Additional program by Chris Walton and published by Atari Age. Our friends at Atari Age. Hey, Atari Age. Oh, oh, and my name's on the back there, which is always nice. Oh, condition red, you are toast, unless you get that last pod, which is to your left and down. Left and down? Yeah, so keep flying towards left and down. Just down now. See how it's like just brutal, brutal assault. Insanity. Brutal assault. But you're getting points <laughs> for, for kind of fighting off the ships. Oh, but you got dude, 15,000. 15, I'm sorry, Arena. Yeah. Oh, there you okay. go. You're let's, on the board. I'm on the board. Okay, let's find let's out. Let's see. So let's. What, what's our. What's, what's our your thing? ranking? Right now, your ranking. One, two, three, fifteen thousand. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What did you get? I'm just a little. You're ninth. I'm a, I'm a little bit under. Yeah, Dev Dev Web CL. Okay. So I and think then, you could you could get to that because after that it's a big jump up to yeah, sixty thousand. Yeah, it looks like I, if we can get if I can get up to sixty, which is probably not gonna happen, but we'll we'll get. Never it know. Go. Never know. Okay, let's see yeah, how out of practice I am. I'm going to watch this technique. Okay. Oh, you really unscrewed that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it really slippery when it's not tight. Okay, so I'm going to go for the pods. Like you did. Yeah, I did this. Because you get some, some good points there. Oh, they can fly through the ships. Oh my god. <gasps> out of practice, obviously. Because okay. I'm using a different technique, I usually just kill the yeah, kill the stations just immediately. Waste them. <laughs> See, it's hard. <laughs> That's what Arena Put said. No, that was me being foolish. Fifteen. Thanks, Arena. <laughs> what did he say? He just wrote my score down, man. Oh, I've thank you. I've thank never you. felt more validated in my life. <laughs> Arena Foot's really good for keeping, like, when we're doing the scores. Yeah. Um, for high scores, he's good at typing it in. Thank you for doing that. Thanks it's, so much, it's dude. It's so helpful. Because... Oh! There we go. Oh, That's I see. you do it. And then you get to the next level. Now there's four. See the four green in the radar? In the oh, bottom? I didn't understand that concept. Now I do. I have to, like, stop myself from... Uh, Completely killing the the stations immediately. So I'm like, oh, go for the. I guess the stations go for the exhaust give you port. a lot, right? So that's the thing. Yeah, you can get 1,200 plus 1,500, so 2,700 points from each of the stations. So it's good to maximize them out. So. Damn. I see what's going on. This game is brutal on your wrist, though. But hopefully this joystick is a little... Oh yeah, you can um, hold down the button. I forgot. <laughs> so that should make it a little less noisy for our listeners and watchers. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, just hold down that button. Man. Yeah. Because what? There's there's no benefit not to. Yeah, the timing is. You're not gonna do a lot of timing. Because the shots are so fast. And if another thing to take notice is the enemy ships fly just a little bit off of you so that your shots don't get them. Yeah. So I'll give you an example when we get there. Did you get more health? Um, you got, now yours is three, right? But you died once. Yeah, I, so, at, at 70,000 or no, 15, you get your first uh, free gut, free life. Oh, okay. Boom, boom. 
And if you shoot the leader of the formations that come after you, they 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 go away. So if you shoot the middle guy, oh, terrible! Yeah, These are just too tight together. I'm hoping for that 60, man. That's what you got. Really, you got to go for 60. <laughs> Yeah, see at least can, on my first game. See if you can get 70, man. That's going to be uh, the... Then I'll get an extra life, so that's, that'd be good, actually. Because if you get 70, then you're 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 way up there on the leaderboard. You're doing well. Yeah, it's 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 uh, decent. You know, it's it's not uh, embarrassing. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're a competitor. Yes. Because it seems like that's the big leap. And then the it next is. one's 100, so it's 160, I think. <sighs> yeah, like that. 100 so is like... the big all there. It's going to be conditioned right if I don't get that dude. There we go. There's just so many, so many guys all over the place. See that how they fly just, a, fly just a little bit off of you. So that they're annoying as hell. There we go. And I think it's better to get these types of, uh, these big points on the lower levels, because as as the game progresses, it gets harder and harder. That makes sense. So it's going to be harder, like the points don't increase as the levels increase. So why not get all the big points on the lower levels? When it's a little bit easier, the ships don't fly quite as strategically or as um, quickly, or they don't send it as as many against you oh, damn see i am not bad at this game yeah no, yeah <laughs> you're, you're doing all right yeah it's look at this 60. yeah almost too uh, uh risky flying in between those yeah okay damn alive alive no damn. i think it's alert alert but yeah there's so um there's voice samples in this game while you're playing oh now they've got those now it's getting rough. Because the bases can now shoot at you. Damn. Oh, I knew it. I knew I was getting too close. Um, yeah, it's got voice samples in the game. As did the original arcade game. And they were really rough in the original arcade game. So they kind of kept them kept them, kept them rough. rough here. And, and it's really hard to kind of tell what it's saying. So it can be... Alarm, alarm, or alert, alert. Just like, eh. Could be either. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Go, one more. Oof. Okay, just a little bit more until I get another life. Get off my tail. I'm just a little... Ooh, yeah, those are vicious. Though. Those are vicious. Yeah, that's a, that's a brutal formation. It's the last life. I, I just wasted ones too early. Wasted my lives. So it's kind of... It's not going to be a high-scoring one, but I'll get the 70. That's, that's what matters, man, because that's like... There we go. Yeah, we go. And, a, and an extra life, so I'll, I'll get a little board, extended. Man. I don't think I'll get deal. to the 100 this time. But... Um, Not with that attitude. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that defeatist attitude. Never make it to 100. I was looking at my old Never. game footage um, when we did the play every level um, episode of Draconian. Um, and I got 132, but it wasn't... It was on B. It was on the B sector. So it and it doesn't count anyway. You have to play the game during the tournament, not whenever. Not like at some point. Yeah, not at some point and just submit it. Um, so that didn't count. But um, I know I can do pretty decent, at least. And if it's on B, it's about the same as A. Like, it starts off again. It's just a different set. It's just a different set of vibe. Yep. Uh-oh. Yeah. There we go. And you just gotta go down. One more down. Actually, it wraps around, so I'll probably go up. See how it's, they fly just a bit off? Watch this guy. See? Yeah. So if you just adjust minorly like that, it'll, like it'll just do a little twitch, you can get, get them. them. Yeah. That's good. Okay, that's a good tip. Yeah. 
Oh, and if you want to get those formations, you have to leave the head guy last so that they don't fly away. If you want to get points from them, if you have the luxury. And the strategy is to fly on the side of all three, so you can just go like that. Yes! So the 3-3-3 three, 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 and then fly around 3-3 three, three, and then 1-2-3. Bunny f and Bunny Foo Foo. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I I'm, gonna I'm gonna trust that that's <laughs> something to do with the game. Oh, get out of here! Lots of asteroids, and you can you can see how packed this game is of like just things on the screen. I uh, even the background and everything. Yeah, the stars, colorful stars. There's so many ships flying around. Um, and he is, ma and um, Daryl Spice Jr. is working on a programming language right now. And this um, type of game is going to be one of the built in kind of. Um, oh, now I'm done for it. Oh, I gotta get that guy. Oh, it's condition red. And there's so many bases, and I'm gonna die because there's no way out of condition red. <laughs> Except shooting all the bases. Yes, yeah, so this is where you, you got it. I think I just gotta go for the quick kills on the bases. No. Dang it. 99. 99. I'm almost there. Almost there. Whew, that was close. <laughs> that I been... want you to break 100, man. I, I know. I think that'll be. Oof. Should be flying so close. See, it's getting. Oh! Damn, it's so close. Whew. I suppose it says I made worst case scenario sound samples. There's no ROM left to improve them. Blast off! So there's my 99, what was it? Arena foot? Oh well. Oh, I should have I should have I, I waited. Oh, we'll see it after. I mean, I suppose you did amazing. Like, just the sheer ability to be able to do sound samples while all of this is going on. Even this is impressive by itself, but then layering real-time sound voice samples? Oh my god. Unbelievable. The Atari Vox sounds like, alive, alive, and bunny foo-foo. <laughs> is the Atari Vox says stuff in this? Does it? I don't think so. Well, you would know. Well, actually, that arena, arena foot says that. I thought Atari Vox on this game just recorded your oh, score. Oh, I'm an idiot. Man. Oh, no. Flying too close to the sun. That's like Icarus. <laughs> uh, now, did you click continue? No, you didn't. You're, no, I didn't. You, so you made it to Sector 2. I don't think you... Did you make it to Sector 2 No, I didn't time? really understand the concept of the You just <laughs> racked up the score on the Sector 1? <laughs> That's, That's right. pretty amazing, actually. I just, like, worked it. I was just killing guys. I didn't <laughs> know... killing everything. I, as soon as you're like, look at that green thing, I'm like, oh! <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to kill. That's the goal of this game. <laughs> See, already you're doing way better. Like, yeah. you're almost at 14,000 now. Yeah, I mean, not being able to, like, kill these big things is a big deal. Oh, oh you missed... Oh, oh, you got the score anyway. He so did. even if he kills himself, you get the bonus. Yeah. So there you go. That's good news. Yeah. 99, 7, 10. Thank you, Arena Foot. I promise I will do better the next game, because I died almost instantly on the first level. Oh. Which is terrible. I'm not doing so hot. But, I mean, I'm doing better... Oh yeah, you're already doing miles better. Better than the last miles time. Better. Yeah, you, you just have to play a bit to get your strategy, and, and just watching me in the way, you know, how I did it probably helped you out a little bit too. Big deal, man. It's like, it is that classic thing that like, when you're running a race, right? Yeah, you need that... You need, need somebody who's who's a bit better There you go, than free you. man. Cause oh yeah, you need a, somebody to keep pace with. I ran then, a... Ran a 5K on oh, uh, yeah. Sunday, and that's what I always do. I always stay behind a person that's maybe a touch faster than me, or a touch faster than maybe I want to run, and then it pushes me so much. Yeah, there's no choice but to just get a bit better. And I, I did way better than I thought I would. Way, way, way better. They're kicking ass. Oh, yeah. 
<clears throat> no, Vox, the Vox is not saying the words. It's amazing. It's just the cartridge. Unbelievable. Unbelievable what uh, the team did. And this is a team effort. Oh, I imagine, like, man. Like this one, is, two, three, this four, is a cool, five, this is, six people worked on this game. I know everybody was, has been saying this, like, on chat and stuff, that, like, this is probably one of the best homebrews, but yeah. I can understand why. Like, yeah. In this genre, down. in space oh. shooters, I think it definitely wins hands down for space shooters. Like, I mean, it has all directions. Like, 360 you, most most games are like either one way like left oh like horizontal or vertical but this is both it's good you got that extra life yeah thank you kicking God. ass like double more than double your score yeah we'll see and i've done some <laughs> stupid things too yeah. i've died just like so you're flying you're getting too too close to things you know, yeah you gotta, and these guys are like tailing me like yeah you got to do that maneuver that little little uh hop while they're chasing you because they'll just keep going just to the left or to the right. Ooh. Oh, get them, get them, get those points. Oh, it's okay. Oh, darn, that was, <laughs> yeah, but I had them all, man. Yep. And it's a good idea to clear out. Oh, oh you got them. Oh, 38,370. That's better than nothing. Oh, it's way better than last time. My my goal is seventy. I'd love to I'd love to break past to that get now. into that yeah, range of cause scores. Because I, yeah. I can see that. I, I, you can do it. I think so. You're, a couple more games, you'll get there. <clears throat> ah, okay. Let's not die. <laughs> and it's just random shit sometimes. See, that's the tough part about these games. Yeah, sometimes. it is random. Like it's it's not like a Mario Brothers game where you know exactly what's. Oh. I killed it. That's okay. That's okay. It's probably not the end of the world. No. It's better than dying. Yeah. <laughs> and it's good to clear out. I wonder. Um, I wonder if it gives you more points if you do all of the things. Yes. yes. Yeah. Twelve hundred plus fifteen hundred. So if you just go for the kill shot, it's just fifteen hundred. Otherwise. But these are the easy levels, so get the points where you can get them. Like here. There you go. Got all the points for that formation. I suppose he's giving us some inside deets. He Ooh. says, I suggested more explosion sounds. Some yeah. of the kills are bleep, but it is Nathan's <laughs> favorite game, so we kept the arcade. That's cool. I kept oh, to the original, man. That's what we you just... got to do when you're making a, making a, a port, right? Yeah. People want as close to the experience as possible. Hands down. And, I, and I've seen ports where they go, okay, we're going to make the arcade version and then we're going to kind of enhance it or do something that we want to do with it. And then you can select between the two. It's like, okay, normal or arcade. And I, that's what they're doing with um, Aardvark um, is they have two settings. One is the arcade and one is the the new version oh yeah modern right modern version yeah and the modern version kind of corrects it's kind stuff of a, that makes it a little bit which one was our more tolerable. Again? That was the... It's the one where there's ants crawling across oh, the screen oh yeah man the modern was so much more fun it's oh, just yeah. for me I, it was it's easier which it's is not necessarily faster. good but no but it's just anything that makes it more fun i'm totally fine with. yeah because at the end these are games you yep. know they're meant to be fun there we go one more Oh, another formation. Oh! See, that's the thing when you go for the formations, man. Yeah, it's just not worth it. Because it, they, they're right on your tail. And they are pretty deadly. Oh, 20 is where you get the thing. 20. Okay, I thought it was 17 for some reason. I was thinking 17. Go. Boom. Never played the arcade version. I've seen a lot of arcade games. I've, I, it was on the the uh, BC Ferries. That's where I played uh, this wow. game. Oh, uh, back when they had an. I think they still have arcades in some of them. Sometimes all, there's one definitely that I've seen. Yeah, um, yeah. I played it on that, but I've never seen it anywhere else in any other arcade. Not at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I think it's fairly rareish, but it's well known. So this, so this oh, happens Jesus. to be one that's like a that's a very close to your heart. Then. I didn't a little bit. It, it's more like super nostalgia, and I barely played it because I never had it on a home version. I don't think many. I don't think it made to many um, 
common, like it didn't, wasn't on NES or anything. It was on a lot of home computer systems, but not the one I had. It wasn't on the C64. They had a, a look-alike on the C64, I think, but it wasn't good. It was nowhere near. Um, so it's more like uh, it's like a surprise when I when I discovered this game, this port, and then I was like, oh, that game! Oh my god, I haven't thought of that in, you know, years. 30 years. <laughs> and then I just remembered everything about it. I gotta get that guy. Oh, yes! Oh! What hit me? Oh, he shot at you. Damn it, doing terrible again! Ugh. Just, I'm getting, I'm just not leaving enough room. I'm getting too tight to things. And that is not good. It's tough, it's, man. You gotta play it safe yeah. because, like, if you die, it's a catastrophe. Yeah. There's no time limit, so there's no rush. There's no yeah, rush the only no. thing is, is that yellow guy. Yeah, that right. spy ship, it's the only thing you have to worry about in terms of, like, oh my god, I gotta do something right now. Otherwise, you can drift aimlessly if you want. Yeah, you can kind of do what I did on my first go and just kill <laughs> just, ships for like a few yeah, days. Just kind of, you know, float around, be cool. It's the cruise version <laughs> of Draconian. That's right. I thought I just killed that. Guess not. Can they repair? Maybe they can wow, repair. Wow, that would be... I think they can, maybe. So you just take it slow. Take your time. Difficult when they're all in a row. The the real mystery is going to be what is it saying? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Back here. Okay, you Whoa. got it. That was That's intense. Good. He dive bombed me though. These these are suicidal ships. <laughs> they don't care about their lives. All they care about is killing you. That is for sure. Man, it's crazy about this James Gunn thing. You were it telling is. me about it. It's just insane. Uh, that's fairly political. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Show. Sorry. <laughs> I just thinking because you said Galaxy and Ga we won't get Guardian into it. Guardian of the Galaxy. I'm just, I just, this is my only thing that I'll say. I like his movies a lot. I'm just, I would have liked to see another they're, one. They're of his. well made. I, I find them a bit pandering. Like I find a lot of. Yeah, those big budget ones are just... They go for lowest common denominator, um, especially the nostalgic music. I'm like, eh, okay, and cassettes. And oh, yeah, stuff. you're right. Um, I mean, it sells, and people like it. Oh, my God, I almost died there. I was yeah. dumb. Um, I mean, they're, they are well made, yes, but I just don't like pandering for pandering's sake. Maybe, maybe he legitimately thinks that all that music is super cool and awesome and... Not that it's because it plays on people's nostalgia. Yeah. But I, I'm sure it isn't. It's very calculated. I can't believe any film of that budget isn't 100% calculated. Every single thing in it, every line, every reference, like it's. I'm, I'm so bitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I can't not believe that. Yeah, right? man. It's the tough part about it all, you know. It is when, but but the you cool live long enough, you just get super bitter at betrayal. Well, when of... you've been marketed at for like <laughs> forever, decades yeah. and decades. Because when you're a teenager, you don't notice that you're marketed at. Yeah, you, you buy all the stuff and you you go with trends. Well, I didn't do too much, but I saw other people do that. But then you grow up and realize, oh my god, I was played. Yeah, what well, did, did I buy this because I actually like it, or did I buy it because my all my friends were like. Yeah, I saw it on TV ten times a day. Yeah. Yeah. And it's and an interesting. It it's a really interesting <laughs> communications thing. Like when they when because I was like part of um, I it. TA'd for communications for a while, and they talk about marketing. The best strategy for that age group is if you can get friends to make references. Because when you're a teenager, oh, yeah. all that matters is what your friends are saying. Yeah, your peer group. Yeah. Yeah, and so like um, and and that's also too where I mean, but that's also YouTube's turned into that. It's crazy. Oh crazy. yeah, mass marketing on YouTube and the sponsorships and you know whoever is getting the most um, views they get 
you know, the sponsorships, and they're the cool kids now, right? And like my little sister uh, was super into, I don't can't remember what it was, but at Christmas time, she was watching all these unboxing videos <laughs> yes. of kids having stuff. And, 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 all and, sponsored. And, and all those unboxings, they, there was a, a, a company that basically, that's all they did for marketing. They just had a bunch of kids get excited <laughs> about unboxings. Yep. They didn't do any television, anything, and that was, um, and they would just put them on like the auto playlist, so you would start oh, watching like yeah. something tune into this I'm like that's how it's a refined this, uh, oh, this marketing is. system is. and YouTube's right in bed with them uh, with their autoplay system oh, and God. refer and video referrals um, which which videos follow which videos and they do internal promotions of videos it's 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 sick it's, <laughs> it's crazy. crazy yeah yeah but, I mean you have a what a millions and millions of dollars you know, that you're yep. investing, you want to get that money back. Do you, you, know? do you blame the companies? Can you can you blame the people doing these videos, making these millions of dollars or tens of thousands every time they market something? All these Instagram stars, they're making huge cash. Yeah, man. Not many people are going to turn it down. And if one person does, the next person's not going to turn it down. Oh my God, this is this not is the place I need to be. This is insanity, dude. <laughs> you're crushing I it. I shouldn't but... be there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm doing better, but I'm not quite there. You know, I'm not quite feeling like I'm... Yeah, you're not quite in that place. Not quite in the zone, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. What is Sinister? Sinistar? Sinistar. We got some people in the chat. I mean, this is... Talking about I... Sinistar? Yeah, yeah. I never played that game, so... Is it? Is this very similar to Draconian in its style? I mean... It's a space shooter. I know that much. It's got voice. It's got some creepy... Uh, evil like bad guy that goes after you and like destroys you almost instantly that's as much as i know about it and it, a lot of people like it, the game so i should really is it a homebrew no 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 no. it's an arcade so it's game. a hard arcade game yeah, cool proper I mean... arcade game oh, oh i almost got that guy it's okay though you know yeah. take it slow i don't want to risk my lives just i didn't to want get to get you excited points. but i'm sure you know you're at a hundred thousand you passed oh, yeah. it yeah. Which is great. I saw myself at 90, so I was like, eh, I'm close. I just didn't want to immediately. Because when we were playing through the levels, we were just going strictly for levels. So I didn't care about, you know, if I died or, or any of that going stuff. for points or, you know, shooting. The, did I accidentally kill that? I think so. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's okay. Yes, yeah, fine. So what are they saying in the chat? Sinistar was in our uh, skating rink as as kid, ah. and um uh and that and that uh, uh Arena Foot's inviting Bad Bad Lord to come down to the Houston Arcade Expo in October because I've got them there. So we if you go down there, you can check them out. Oh, cool. And uh, Sinistar was a was a talking battle star that would awaken once its drones collected enough energy, if he, if he recalls correctly. Oh, and it, and okay. it said, it, and uh, I suppose is telling us that Sinistar uh, difficulty ramps up like insanely <laughs> too fast. Oh, okay. So it's fun at first, and then it's like I'm dead. And Arena is letting us know it's similar to this game. That's sort of what we uh, suspected. Okay. So it could it's... probably be made on the 2600 then using this engine, because I started off talking oh. about. Oh, I, I completed it. I didn't die. Oh, okay. <laughs> I cool. thought I died, right? I thought you died. I was no. getting... Um, oh, I was, yeah, I was talking about Daryl Spice Jr. He's working on a new programming language called Spice C. Um, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Daryl Spice, yeah. Very, and C is a programming language. And which takes advantage of uh, the ARM processor on, um, on this... Uh, not this, but the... the cartridge that I have, the Harmony cart, and the processors that are put on to this cartridge as well. And then he is making available his um, kernels, which are the things that run, pretty much run the games and draw the screen. And this is one of the kernels he's making available um, for other people to make games from. So you, you basically plug in your graphics and then you say use this graphics engine 
And Makes complete sense, man. I mean, how much work went into this? You may as well... Yeah, just use the work that he did. You can tweak it, too. Like, it'll all be open source. It's right? honestly the same with those Pixar movies. It's amazing, because, I mean, that was... I, I remember hearing the hardest uh -oh. part of designing those was... But I killed it. Oh, no. Was was building the, all these all these 3D... Um... Oh, I knew it. Oh, shit. 129,000, though. Hey, uh, I beat my old score of when I played it before, so that's good. That's We're on the right track. Definitely. I think I, do, I can do a lot better. 129, let's see where that places me. Okay. Oh, it's a Atari 2600 prototype for Sinistar from back then, never released. Well, they can do a lot better now, that's for sure. 129, 100. So that puts me in fifth place. Ooh, I was just off fourth place. Fourth place is 130. Oh damn! That is my that's my short term goal. Okay. It's to definitely beat 130 because the next one up is 167. Well, I my, think I can do that. Mine is definitely 70. Yeah, and I know you can do that. A couple more games, you'll be there. Um, but my long term goal for this show is over 167. That'll put me in third place because beyond that is quite a jump. Somehow, Spiceware, well, I mean, he played this game to death for years, obviously, while he was making it. It makes sense. I mean, nobody knows this game better mm -hmm. than him. And all the iterations it's gone through. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good job navigating. Uh, I supposed to, the engine, yes. You mine crystals by shooting asteroids. Any that get away, the drones build Sinistar. Okay. Drones also build mines. You can shoot a homing missile, but it uses your crystals. Interesting. I bet somebody's going to make some... Oh. Sin oh, that's a bit early, eh? Nah, it's just... That, I don't mind that one. That was just... That guy's got it's ambushed, hard. man. That was a tricky one. So I can see somebody building... Uh, making Sinistar again fairly soon. Uh, especially after Spice Sea comes out. But that's years away, so... I, I think he said it's quite a, wh a while before that's all done. But he started the basics on it, of the new programming language. And he does have it running, but just just barely the basics. So it's very, very cool. Um, the crystals are what you use to, oh, to kill Sin... Oh. This is jam between three people, man. Damn. It's available from Albert uh, at, re at Atari Edge as a one-off card. Oh, interesting. How complete is the prototype for Sinistar? I'm guessing it's playable if if um, Albert makes it as a one-off, because you don't want like something you can't even barely play. Sometimes those ports back then were oh, oh you killed the base. <laughs> it's the worst way to do it. But, me, uh, man. I mean, what do I got zero? I'm done. Rip. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, this one's a rough game. Just oh, you're just getting too risky. You're oh, flying into the action instead of yeah, flying away. Yeah, gotta, gotta gotta rethink the strategy here. Yep. Okay. Okay. Don't die. <laughs> That's all I gotta do. Let's take it easy. Get the big points. On That's all that needs to happen. Yep. Now, I'm fairly burnt out on superhero films and Star Wars. Yes, yeah, I didn't see the latest Star Wars, and I... Oh, my God. Oh. Can I reset? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm at this point, that. we're going for... We're going for resets on bad yeah. starts. And I haven't seen a Marvel movie since, I think... Is it Logan? It's called Logan? Yeah. yeah. I'd say the Marvel ones are the ones that are the most exciting still. All the other ones are pretty meh. Yeah. God. Get the game. But it's... A oh, no, I saw Deadpool too. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of its own thing, though, it is. you know? It's not really part of the whole thing. It is, but just barely. I think I accidentally killed it. 
Oh no, Damn that's it. okay. You only had one left. Yeah. So I got most of the points. Perfect. Yeah, there's just some tough corners you can end up in in this game, you know? Yeah, when you're boxed in. It's just only so much. No, I think I got it. Ooh, that's good to throw away. Yeah, you just gotta, gotta take it one, one or two shots at a time. Man. Yep, no rush. Don't, uh, don't get crazy. Don't fly into uh, an area where there's a lot. Just fly away from it. Ooh, Ooh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Ten, eleven K, man. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's real easy to just blaze through the levels by just killing. Just, <laughs> just ripping just, through the. Yeah, just shooting down the middle. So easy. But you miss so many points. Yeah, and then it's also like, as you said, it's a lot easier to navigate these ones. So it's wise to. You get to kill some ships. You get some potential. That's true. Well, you're. Well, you're. Uh, Getting some points to get some ships. They're not worth much, but eh. you know, every little bit counts. <sighs> that was bad. Stop it! Stop following me. What would you say is the last movie you saw that you were like, "Damn, this is a this is a move." <sighs> Damn it. Um, I was really hoping that. And I mean, I discussed the movie with you before. Um, what was it called? They're not allowed to talk. It's like, shh, or don't talk. Oh, or Quiet what, Place? Quiet Place. It's just such a general name. Yeah, did you so see was, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. talked, oh, we yeah, talked we did. about it just briefly. It's so, I really liked that movie. That was a good movie. It was great, you know, general concept. It's, there were so many plot holes. I was a bit frustrated in yeah, that respect. A, a couple sloppy... Uh, yeah. Story points. Um, but in general, I like those kind of um, those types of movies where it's like, oh, you can't do this, or people are trapped in a situation. They have to, you know, mentally figure their Absolutely. way out of it and navigate all these issues. And um, luckily, there wasn't like anybody was like really frustrating in the movie. And that's what <laughs> really kills a movie for me usually. Is when there's a character. It's like you're the dumbest person ever, and I hate Especially you. I've seen so horror movies, much. and they're like, "Let's <gasps> let's go into this building with no lights on. I'm just gonna put my uh, thing down and uh, yeah. oh, you're put like, my weapon oh down my and god, people. Like, yeah, yeah, nobody would ever do that. Like just yeah, that's the frustrating part. There's this is very cool movie called uh, uh, I think it's called The Invitation. Yeah. And it's and it's one of the few horror movies I've seen where it's like at every point the main guy is doing exactly what I would do. Oh, and it's nice. very cool because you watch the movie and at every point he's calling it out and everyone's <laughs> being very polite and he's like, no, this makes no sense. And it's a very cool movie because it's one of the few movies I've seen horror where I was like, okay, I'm on board with these uh, with these people. Nice. And that's what I think you got to do as a writer is to think through. Like, what, what would I do in this situation rationally? Because or... then it's cool because the obstacles that they have to overcome are so much greater. Because it's sort of cheating almost when you feel like in a movie it's like, okay, well, I'd never do that. <laughs> yes, it is, yeah. Or, or you can go for your, like, maybe not the first choice, but the second choice of what yeah. you would do. And still totally rational. Because you don't want to be predictable in your writing or, you know, the script of your movie, depending on your approach. Um, you don't want the audience to go, yeah, of course he does that. Oh, yeah, yeah of course he does that. And it's just like, oh, that makes it a little boring. Maybe go for your second or third choice that still makes sense. Um, Absolutely. Or go for one that maybe you wouldn't think of, but you don't want to stretch it too far. And, and just and being like dumb young teenagers or like twenty oh, somethings God. doesn't it's it it's doesn't it's not an excuse. No. You, just, you can't. It doesn't count. No, and that's I think why they do that a lot is set it with teenagers because they're you know inexperienced or not thinking things through. Yeah. And it makes it too easy. I just want to get laid right killed. now, and you're like, ah, oh. <laughs> come on. But I guess it's a. It's also that's the audience. I guess for a lot of uh, horror is. movies too. It is. So. So. They're playing to the their audience. What was the f first video game you played? Like, what was when? What, what was the thing that kind of got you like into gaming to start? Like, very, very like it would have to be arcade. Um, maybe not actually. It was probably an Atari Twenty Six Hundred, 
because I was too young to go to the arcades by myself. I don't remember like being super young in the arcade, but I do remember being super young playing a 2600. So it would be late 70s. And it would be one of the early titles. Um, probably the earliest ones I remember is like I'm playing Asteroids um, on the 2600. And somehow I had it at a really easy level, like a really easy setting because the early games, they put on the package like 400 games in one when in fact it's like slight variations. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the very... red version, the yeah, green version. Exactly. It's like version 23, <laughs> things are slightly faster. It's like, mm, not really. <laughs> That's not really a variation. And they would do that a lot. And some of them were like big variations. Oh, combat. Obviously I played combat. So it would be one of those early ones. Yeah. Probably combat. Um... You know, combat, you, you had tanks and you shot each other. Um, so it would be one of those. And it would have been, I think, like a, a relative's uh, 2600. Um, I never had a console growing up. The earliest thing I had. You probably was... made it more special, man. That's the thing. Yes. If you have it on your own, then you, kinda, it, you can get bored. Ooh, but if it's at your point. friend's place... Yes, it's special. It's it. Every time you play it, it's like ooh, and you also it's precious time. And you also relate it to that friend as well. It's like your yes. bond. It's a big deal. Yes. So all my friends had, you know, televisions, Coleco's, Atari twenty six hundred, NES, and I was like, oh, I wish I had this. But then I got the, the Commodore sixty four, and and got a million games on disc, and it was like way better than. Oh my god. Oh, you got him. That was you. Because on the C64, you had a keyboard. So then you could play RPGs with way more depth. You know, there's yeah. discs which had way more memory um, than an NES. There was voice, uh, speech synthesis. Um, just just way better than an NES. So, and then, you know, it leapfrogged. And then I got a, then I got a PC, but then... That was, that was the end of that. But I never, ever had a console ever wow. until I was in my mid, early 20s. And then my first console was a 2600. Wow. Why was it a 2600? <laughs> Just because that Just was... Just because I grew up with it and they were cheap at flea markets. Like cheap as in almost... Free. God oh, damn it. That was my first death. So much stuff happened. That was good. First death mm. at 80,000. Okay. Um, yeah, they were at flea markets. People were unloading them in the early 90s because they were just like, like the NES was kind of... Um, that was the thing. That was, you know, it was big-ish back... Whoa. Whoa! Okay, that was a lucky... Oh. Damn it! I can't blame you for that yeah. one. That's just... I got myself into a bad situation there. Yeah, I was kind of pushed into it by the pattern of the ships that's where sometimes this stuff is just random right yeah and it's a good idea to clear out these um these asteroids so that you don't whoa whoa dude he was flying off but he flew off in my direction <laughs> Damn. oh that's a lot of okay. doing pretty good this time i'm pretty happy with my scores i may have these are pretty close together i may just have to do some quick deaths on these green green guys because they're just too packed in yeah which is nothing wrong with that and all honesty yeah. at this point in the game you might be wise to do some just more quick deaths because like yeah because that's going to rack up points quick it is and, and more and the possibilities to die is pretty high man. it is and that is not something i'd rather i'd rather get the points and see it's really easy to kill them <laughs> really really easy to kill them but it's the points we're going for but this one's by itself, so I will, you know, I'll go a little bit, go a little bit harder on this one. That and that. That. Clear out some debris out of the area. What was the first homebrew game you played? It's it's definitely going to be a download, obviously. Yeah, so I just didn't buy You didn't them. know you were, you were like, let's try out this thing. This isn't. So it's gonna be tough. 
to remember that. Um, no. <laughs> it was probably a hack of some point, of some kind. Like, I had um, ROMs for a long time. I downloaded them and played them on emulators. Um, that's a really good question. You know what? I could probably figure that out by... Oh, damn it. I was just, just getting too in there. Just getting too in there. Yeah, you gotta kind of circle Stay around back. it. Um, by doing a sort by date of download uh, dates on my files... But I probably transferred from computer to computer and it's yeah, reset those thing. dates. So it's not gonna work. Ooh, oops. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, still get the points. We'll get back here. Yeah. 112. Ooh, that was a good lucky shot there. Um no, I really can't tell you what it was. And you and you think you asked me in last Another show, what was my first bot homebrew? Yeah. And that That's a tough one, too. I think I'm going to have to like have to look do in some, my like, records. Look back and try to find And it. it was probably at, you know what? It was probably at in 2000. Um, whew, get him there. I deserve that. Um, my first time at Portland Retro Gaming Expo um, in 2000. I want to say 13. Um, because that would have been the first kind of big opportunity to buy one at, like, the Atari Age booth. And it might have been... Oh, my God. Oh, Damn it! It's just crazy out there. Yes, it is. And what score am I going for? It's 160 or something, right? Yeah, I believe that's your, that's your aim. It. Yeah. Um, it was probably... I Honestly, I'd say 200 would be the best. Because there's something, would. there's something about, you know, like, leaving today with 200,000. Get reasonable. Back here. Oh, good yeah, yeah 200,000 would be a nice round number. And it just to... feels like breaking 2,000 is a big deal. Yeah, that would be nice. Go. Um, yeah, so, oh, that's disappointing. I'm going to wrap around. I don't know why I'm flying up that way. Actually, it's probably the same distance. Oh no, it's pretty close here. Nice. Very much closer. Right so around. Close. Damn it. Ooh. They're just getting a they're little getting bit aggressive, man. Yeah, they're going going for it. One more. There we go. Um, it was probably Daryl Spice Jr.'s game. Um Medieval Mayhem. Medieval Mayhem. Was my first purchase because I I bought that in 2013, if I'm not mistaken, at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. If my dates are correct. Oh, I'm going to have to go for mass kills. These are just too clumpy. Yeah, it's too many of them. That's an easy one. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, no. Still better than last time, though, man. No, it's not, actually. Really? Oh, no. That's, I thought I was doing better. You were, and then it was a couple of And it just that's downhill. Quick. And that's the one I got signed, Medieval Mayhem. Finally figured that out. Um, Arena Foot doesn't remember, either. <laughs> so these ain't easy questions. They are not. Because they're downloads. You're like, oh, I'll just download yeah, this, this, this. Yeah, you're not this, thinking, this. you know, you're... Unless it was something completely memorable. Like, like, blows you away. Like, if this was your first download, you'd be like, wow, what? I, Atari can do this? That's crazy. Oof. I almost bit the dust early there. I know, man. <laughs> that was, I'm that trying was to... a rough spot. Um... So how many, I bet, it, yeah, all the people in the chat have, have played this game, obviously. Um, how about uh, I supposed to, what was your first homebrew game? That's probably an impossible question. Yeah. Or anybody else in the chat. Um, what was your first purchased one on cartridge, maybe? That's maybe a bit more memorable. Yeah, because if you purchase something on cartridge, it's... That's like serious. It's like, no, I want this game. In physical form, the ROM is not enough. I love the artwork. I want to have it I on my shelf. Want to support these people? Yeah. I want to support, show that people out there actually, you know, want these things. And um, I'm all about hard copies of things yeah. and preser oh, preservation God. and and that continuation of, you know, the physicality of things and not just everything kind of being reduced to to 
numbers and bits yeah, floating around. Yeah, it's kind of sad, right? It's nice to have something that you can kind of like put on your shelf. Yeah, it's beautiful seeing all these boxed um, homebrew games. People still loving the system after 41 years. It's crazy. So I guess this is your first console, man. That makes a lot of sense. It essentially is my first console, but you know, way later. In, yeah, which is amazing. <laughs> in the in the late 90s. <laughs> Or no, the early 90s, that's right. Yeah, it is crazy. Um, not better late than never. But it was a great time to scoop up uh, 2600 stuff. I got so many controllers, um, so many variations. Do you still have some of the stuff that you got then? Everything. Yeah, I don't throw away anything. Yeah, it's, you, it's, you're kind of like a curse. that. <laughs> I, but I it's have, good you're organized you know what they say the difference between important. a hoarder and a collector is organization that's it things are labeled <laughs> the only and thing. on shelf there's no it difference <laughs> if this stuff this stuff was strewn about the house you'd be, be a hoarder it'd be a, it'd be a disgusting dirty hoarding mess yeah and it would be broken and yeah it'd be, it'd be a mess oh i supposed to says i didn't call it homebrew but in the late 90s, uh, Vectrex. It was four to five games, including Phoenix and Star Wars Arcade. Oh, wow. Star Wars Arcade? Well, um, I don't think I... I haven't played that on the Vectrex. i got to go look that up. <clears throat> That's awesome, because it any any kind of vector game that was in the arcade is obviously perfect for the Vectrex. So it's the only home system that can emulate it perfectly with vectors. Um, got two up there. People can't see it, but there's two up there. Oh, Vectrexes, and I've got a bunch of homebrew Vectrex games as well, and just about every boxed Vectrex game and accessory. I've got the um, the 3D glasses oh, no. for the Vectrex. I've got the light pen. Um, a bunch of stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, there's only a couple I'm missing, but they're like two hundred dollars each. It's not a fun time collecting for Vectrex. No, I'm a and I, I imagine you've also got all the stuff that was cheaper. Oh yeah. So then, Instantly. so it's kind of one of those it's things where the, it's just the upper echelon last couple titles that I'm missing, and so it's really frustrating. It's like, do I want to spend that last six hundred dollars to just put them on the shelf? Yeah, because I've got you just them all gotta ask box. yourself. It's like, uh... yeah, is it worth it? Just, just to have them when I can buy them any time. So I might as well just wait for oh. the prices to, you know, dip to a bit. Dip, yeah. Vectrex has not dipped yet. It's one of those systems where it's there's not a lot of it around because not many people bought it. It was a complete failure when it came out. It's super cool and collectible, like unbelievable. It's the only home console. That had a built-in screen. Um, oh yeah, I guess because this th this is this everything else hooked up to a TV, right? Oh, all right, got them all. I didn't know those were homebrew games for the Vectrex, and neither does Star Star Path, Star Path Supercharger count as homebrew. Uh, if it's not a yeah, how do you define homebrew? That's the biggest question. Bigger question oh, there. God, oh wow! Still doing pretty good. I've done Not a, where you want to be, done but a stupid technique. Yeah. There you go. Now you're making up for it. No, don't get in there. It's a bit. It's a bit hairy in there. Yeah. Um, homebrew I define as after the. Oh. oh, after the but forty six thousand. This is much better, better than my last one. As long as you keep climbing. That's See, right. I declined on my last one. That was not good. But you're you're shooting much higher. Yeah. After homebrew is anything that was made after the console has been discontinued, for sure. Okay. Because if it's before the console's discontinued, you're just a company. Yeah, you're, you're just leasing, making a game. You're making a game. You happen to be very independent. So, you know, there's lots of third-party uh, game developers for Atari. Like, tons. They're yeah. just dumping games. So, I, I can't, you can't really consider it homebrew during the during while it's the company's still around. 
or in making the console. So it would have to be after 92 for Atari 2600. I believe that's when the last Atari console, official one in North America was made. Um, and yeah, and then it would have to be not, because I'm sure they made games after that too, I think. Um, Okay, um, obviously anything released now is homebrew. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, I was looking at the chat for a second. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous. It is dangerous. It's getting too, like, oh, let's, let's kill some stuff around here. Too cluttered. Um, and then, you know, after the, the run of the system, then you have to kind of, if there's any companies that made that are big companies like if Atari or you know um, I'm a magic or Activision made a game after they aren't selling consoles anymore I really wouldn't consider that homebrew unless it was way after unless they like even if they can release something today would it be considered homebrew because they were a company that existed probably just yeah. because it's so late in the game, it's 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 homebrew, but it's a huge company, so it's kind of difficult in that respect. Obviously, one person making a game now is homebrew, but it's that cutoff point, and I think um, it's when the run of the system is done, and the companies that were releasing games during the run of the system aren't releasing games anymore. What does Thunkist say he about He says, it? I think of homebrew as non-commercial, made by a hobbyist, could even be made while the console is still being sold, like if a way to root, um, uh, like if a way to root it is discovered. That is, is also very valid, because there are systems nowadays, like when the Wii was going, or 3DS, or like anything that's being sold actively right now, and that's that you home can... quality, that that sense of like that this isn't a commercial uh, creator, that this is something somebody's done because they, they love the system, they love the game. Yeah, so that kind of muddies my definition, doesn't it? It does a little bit, but I do like that idea a lot. I would probably buy that. Yeah, from... Non-commercial, yeah. It's And it's about, it's a hobbyist, it's somebody who's... Yeah. Because of course that, that's got to count. Yeah. That makes sense. But you're right. It definitely helps if it's uh, when the console has been uh, discontinued. Discontinued. That almost like guarantees it's homebrew at that point. Um, but you can make a homebrew game like, like when the Commodore 64 was out. You just anybody could type a basic game or make an assembly game. It's a little bit harder with a console, so and that's probably what we're defining is console yeah, homebrew. So for most consoles, it's really hard to make a game because you have to put it on a cartridge, um, like burn a ROM, or with now games, you have to... Well, they, they do downloads now, so it's a little bit easier. But say when there was only discs, you would have to somehow burn a disc with your binary on it and then somehow get it booted <laughs> by hacking into it. Oh, that's a nice Wow! Line. Okay, that's that's, nice that's what there. you like to that's see. That's great. That's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, too many shots. Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, I'll take it. You know, I'm not gonna complain too much if I accidentally get points. <laughs> uh, too many bullets, and they just keep going. Oh. You know what I like about games like this is it's it's skill, man. That's it what is. that's what it's about. It's not about you're you're not farming items. You're not building. your that's it's right. skill. It's the, it's not it's a little strategy, but mostly pure skill of you know memorization of, of moves of understanding how the enemy moves. And how working to get in real time. You yep. know, just making decisions, trying stuff. Yeah, knowing the lay of the land and the patterns of like those yellow ships, I know how they move now. Ooh, Danger. and how to dodge like these little fragments. There we go. Oh, there's another guy down here. Let's get rid of that. Just one. 
Wow. Might as well get you. No. No, I missed it. That's okay. Oh, I got that station. The pod. Okay, let's go back up here. So, no deaths so far. That's good. It's usually when I die when I say that. I was just going to say, yeah, that's don't a dangerous say that. thing to, to remark. It is. Oh, I'm doing so well! Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's that. like, don't. Zero oh, deaths. I'm invincible. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> yes. But it's a tough game, right? Because it's just, and see, like that is to get sound all in. Corners. And what do you do? You Especially just when it's do your best. Especially when it's something like that yellow shit that you gotta oh, get. Yeah, and you have to get. It. You can't even like avoid it. One more on that. There we go. Yeah, first death of 47. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's above average, so I'm okay with that. But the, the, the deaths come faster as the levels rise, though, because it gets harder. So you want to hold on to them as long as it gets crazy. Yeah, it's nuts, oh man. Some of this stuff is... I still don't know what some of this guy's saying. Battle station. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> alert, alert. Alert, alert makes sense. Even though sense. it sounds like alarm, alarm, and a lot of people swear, no, it's alarm, alarm. Because it doesn't... I don't think that's one of the things... Well, it makes sense for the world. Like, that's the thing, is it's just, yeah. just like... Either of them makes sense totally fine. And I don't think it was in a manual or printed on the arcade machine, so you can argue either way. Ooh, he comes back for another round, though. So you do get a second chance. But you, you gotta chase him. You gotta, you gotta keep with him, yeah. Let's get rid of this mess here. So I don't run into them. I don't want that. Are you the only one? I guess you're the only one streaming uh, this game. It's gotta be. <laughs> there's, there's a couple other channels that do, that do 2600 homebrew stuff. Okay. Um, but I'm the only one that's dedicated to just home. Just doing it. Yeah. And, you know, there's more than enough homebrew yeah. to keep going. At first, I was, like, a little worried. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to run out of homebrew. Now I'm struggling to keep up. That's good. Because I because I because there's a lot, lot of activity going on and, uh, now in the homebrew. Dan just came in. He says, hey, cool looking Dan. game for the 2600. Uh, this is Draconian. I've never played it before. Um, I've played it a lot. <laughs> and, uh, James is kicking my ass, man, obviously. Well, I've had some more practice. Yeah, way more practice. And also, like, these these kinds of games you have more oh, practice on. I love mm. shooters. Oh, my God. Yeah. Shooters and platformers. Love, 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 love. One of my favorite games is Galaga. I am not great at it. I'm okay at it. But I just love playing it, even though I'm not, like, super awesome at it. I'm like a, I like strategy games a lot. I'm a big chess like, player. I don't like know if you know that. Like turn-based strategy? Yeah, turn-based or anything that's calculated. Like I play a lot of chess. I probably play like oh, two, wow. or th uh, two or three games a day at least. Really? Yeah. Oh, you must be good then. I play against a computer mostly. Well, that's a good, um, good thing to practice. But against. I play real players for sure. Yeah. Computers. Like online. Yeah, but computer is fun because it'll never, it'll always make a smart move. And when you play real players, people just make crazy moves. And it's fun. So it's unpredictable. Yeah, right? and it's fun, but it also can be really easy at times, too. Because you'll be like, oh, I know how to, get, like, yeah, know how to I'm like, beat oh. this move, this strategy, but or whatever. Not always. Sometimes people will bust some stuff on you. They call it going yeah. for tricks when they kind of ah, play and they pull something. something out. It's amazing. It just baffles me that there's, like, sets of moves, like, yeah. in chess, like, there's three steps ahead or five steps ahead and you have to set this up and yeah it's and, you're, and you're able to to still maintain those while the other person is is playing and moving their pieces it yeah. just i don't understand it it's crazy <laughs> it's it's fun because when you start doing it you realize that there mathematically there aren't that many um no maneuvers and that's why computers can play it Oh yeah, and there's also not that many smart moves for every situation. Mm. So you kind of you prepare. That's why I play the computer because you prepare for someone to play very well. If someone right. plays really stupidly, <laughs> well then you, it's kind of easy to beat them. But not always because like you know they call them like there's memorized positions and stuff. It's fun though. I like it. And there's chess puzzles all the time. And oh, 
puzzles. What, what's that? Oh, what they'll do is they'll like they'll give you a position and go like, what's the best move? And you have to look oh, at the position and and okay. or like or they'll be like, um, you can checkmate in like three moves. What are the moves? Oh, okay. And then That's you have cool. to like wrap your head around it. That's a good idea. Yeah, that, and I do I do those constantly. That's like a well, yeah, that makes good, sense for a good practice. Good practice and. Uh, but it's but it's a crazy cutoff because like between someone who doesn't know the game and someone who who does, yeah. it's crazy easy. But then when you get people who are pretty <laughs> yeah. like experienced, it can be pretty hard. Like you just you oh, know when yeah, when you yeah. get to that mid rank, it's hard to get better because you know. So, so there's different levels. Definitely. So uh, are you in a defined level? Can you put yourself in a defined level? It's like oh, I play against a computer and I can beat. There's like, so and so. there's like a there's this rating system and it's I Grandmaster and I'm not really able to like I'm not really on the rating system. Oh. Um, okay. W no, like if I was on the rating system, I'd probably be like about 1500, which okay. is like um, yeah. that might be overestimating me. It really depends on the day, but like a grandmaster <laughs> is like anyone above 2000 is a grandmaster, oh, okay. and then the the people like best in the world is like 2800, 2600. Oh. And, and but there's a crazy consistency to that. Okay. Um, and I'll play people online who are like you know 1700, 1600, and I can beat them. But it's just wow. it's random. You just don't know. Like if they play a position, you know, or something. Now, how is that number determined? Is it just like you but, beat this person and this person is it's an internal logic? Of... Exactly. It's like okay. if you and if you beat a high rank player, you get more points and if you lose against a low rank player you lose your rating so if so you it's... beat the best person in the world there's a new high score yeah and you would go you would go up by <laughs> like but you would go up a value and um, but if you draw someone who's really good you can also go up as well so okay. it's like so it's a really interesting thing but it's a Ooh. but to do it properly Ooh, you have to really play a sets of games which people don't do because okay. um, black and white is so different like if you they say if you win with white and you draw with black, you're doing well because white has a huge advantage by playing first. And colors define the first person. To go. Exactly, white plays okay. first. So like yeah. a bl so that's like if you're playing a game, very typically people will. Um, oh no! Oh no! That was not oh. a good time to have condition red. Yeah, it's I had too many bases to kill. Damn it! One life left. It's, it's bad again. <laughs> it's bad. Not another life till. 140,000. I'm gonna have to clear this out. This one, this level. I think I died on this level before as well. Stop it! It's too many. Get some but, points there. Yeah. Okay. But I don't. It's hard to know what that rating system, man. Because I like I've done it online, yeah. and I, it's kind of stupid online. Like I think if I were to do real, like if I were to actually oh. do tournaments, it'd probably be way you'd lower because it, it's like taking an iq test online of course oh you think that you're a genius they're gonna bump it up yeah yeah and a lot of the and a lot of these crazy people are like kids it's nuts <laughs> that's all they do all day yeah because it's it's uh and there's lots of you know education and stuff for the little chess prodigies <laughs> right they yeah, get enrolled and chess that's all they think stuff. about and they practice all the scenarios time. and yeah i just have to Clear out this level. It's too yeah, crazy. It's, it's, it's too packed full. And when I went back for Christmas, one of my 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 uh, uh, mother's uh, friend's kid came over, and I didn't know that he was a chess player. Oh! I, and he was like this quiet kid, and I asked him to play chess, and he and he played with me. Yeah. And he was he was very good. But it's a really beautiful thing because it was like he wouldn't talk oh, at all. But yeah. then when we were playing, he was lighting <laughs> up, and it's almost its oh. own funny language, right? Because you nice. you're communicating through sort of a different thing. Find a common and, common ground with them. That's right. We were like best friends for a while. <laughs> <laughs> the ships are getting faster. Yeah, man, it's crazy. I don't know if I should go for the points here. Or finish it off. It's the last one, so it's not going to be crowded. I think I'll go for, some, go for the points. So I need to get 140 to get on the board. To get on the next round. Oh! That was so close. He was right on me. The ships are so fast now. So fast. Okay. 
Okay, clumpy, but they're a little bit more spread out, so I think I can go and for some points see. here. It looks like a lot of asteroids, though. Yeah, gotta clear those out. You'll get caught. You need room to maneuver. That's what I found when I was doing the level playthrough. After a while, you're just... It's just too hectic. It's out of control. So at some point, I think I'm going to have to just not go for big points anymore. Yeah. And just clear them out. I think I'm at that point. It's I would too... say so, too. Because you just... What matters most is that you keep on that surviving. Sur yeah. And doing all these crazy maneuvers and... To trying try to get, like, trying to get around, around these yeah. things. Just... I'm just wasting time and, and opening myself up for. And for 1500 death. is is a decent. Oh yeah, if I can get that all day long, you can. So I just have to concentrate on the yellow ships, and getting these guys. Okay, shoot your shit. Shoot your old missile. Come on, there you go. Okay, there's some more up. I can feel my skill getting better now. Good. Oh, good. You got yourself another ship. Thank God. And I'm on the board now, so that's good. Yeah, because you're. Uh, you, this was the next sort of threshold. It right? was. Yeah. So I think it's a good strategy to just. Yeah, just go clear these now. guys, man. Yeah. And we can consider it later yeah look at those three clumped together yeah nah. what are you gonna do it's not too crazy there's so many of these guys too yeah, they're just throwing all their ships at me there we go one more like most of the game you're just you're just avoiding you're yeah just trying to stay out 50, of the way 150 there. though that's good what do we got in the chat there it's been up there. Oh, he said, found this online. The game feature is synthesized voice message. Blast off. Yeah. Start of round. Alert, alert. Oh, okay. okay. This is for the this arcade, is... I'm guessing. And then enemy ships approaching is battle stations. Enemy battle formations stations. attack. Spy ship sighted. Okay. And green triangle bonus enemy and condition red. Condition uh, red. Time per level exceeded enemy freeze. Thanks, Thunkist. Thank you very much. So I thought it was not known... But it is. So this one is hard because it's just a line. It's a line, line, and you can't break the line. You you have to get in there and just go for it, or shoot from one side and then wrap around, which I may do because I don't want to risk it. Yeah. So I'm gonna just clear, clear a bit, or. Yeah, see, that's the thing. See, I knew it. I, but now I've got a, a... You got an angle. Spot cleared, but I'd sacrifice too much to get it. Because it's just a long line, and once you're in there, it's fine. And there's also, um, there's a lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of, uh, grandmasters who lecture on chess too online. So there's a lot of ways oh, to learn. Okay. It's a really cool time because it's of that. So funny that you could just keep talking about chess. I'm like sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, not you. But not you. The like in general, people can yeah, still lecture about it. Yeah. And, but there's like a limited number of pieces, and they only move in a certain way. But there's so many combinations of moves that they have names and, and these guys get depressed it's a depressing life though it seems man like Depre these old depressing chess life yeah like these old guys it's like the only Gotta thing that they all oh, get the hell out of this cluster man but you're right it's crazy to think and it's old man it's one of the oldest games oh yeah go is is a little bit older right um, I think you're right, yeah. Whoa! Oh, that was like Olympic was, level dodge. That was crazy. Damn it! Oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it! 180. I gotta get the two. You gotta get the two. I think I can do it. I just gotta. Just play it safe. Play it safe. I was just getting too. 
It's hard though, cause you 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 see your opening and you take it. Yeah, and in the meantime, there's ships coming after you, and the yellow thing is like, bugging you all the time. You got formations, <laughs> bloody, everything. bloody everything, man. <laughs> and clear out this area. It's a big mess. Spy ship sighted. That's Spy ship sighted. That's what it is. Spy ship sighted. There we go. Ooh, these are the big points. These. Oh, oh. Shot the big one first. <laughs> you got that guy, though. Oh, yeah. Where's the opening? There we go. See, they just keep on throwing at you. They're just relentless, man. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, that was that was. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. One ninety-five. <sighs> okay, I'm not. Whoa! I was. Oh my God! I was about to say. Okay, okay. You <sighs> just gotta. Get, yeah, get oh, the hell out of here. Now there's two in one. They've doubled up some of them. I wow. think they have. Um, these are all clustered. Let's go for the non-clustered first. They're so fast. They're faster than you now, I think. Damn. They are. Yeah, dude! Okay, okay. <laughs> 200. 200,000. I feel... Oh. oh. You got it, though. Let's oh. look at that... Let's Cramping look at, hand. Let's look at that board. I want to see oh. what that board says. That's third. Or, yeah, I think it is third. Because let's see. You were... Oh, my hands are... Just dead, dead. Before oh, I jump in, so oh. actually, I'll I'll go. I realize because yeah. you can find out. For That's us. right. I don't oh my god, they're so stiff. <laughs> oh my god. You can pause the game and take a break. Yeah, take a break. I mean, who, whatever homie's got five hundred thousand. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I I can see getting that, but that's a long go. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, you don't, yeah. you don't want that. Okay, cool. You Thanks. don't want Thanks. that. Uh, 200, 250. Yeah, I after I got the 200, I kind of looked away at something and I got a little... I felt like I was really good at this game because I was been watching you play. <laughs> and then I was like, like oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm like, this is good. I'm Easy. like, we're doing well. I'm like, wait, I haven't been playing. I've just been talking about, like, you know, <laughs> random stuff. So... I gotta, I, gotta pr I gotta play. That places me fairly well above third... The, the old third place? Because the, the old third, third place was 167. Okay, that's great, man. The next one up's 270. So that's okay, a so fair it's a... chunk higher. But you know what, that's man? That's Spiceware. I'm just letting you know, <laughs> if you're that far away from Spiceware, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty... Uh, yeah, I don't mind losing the guy who created the game or the guy hosting the whole tournament. I feel like you definitely... Oh, my God. That's no good. Yeah, thank you. you got to get above. Me. you got to at least finish the first level. <laughs> Without dying. This is my skills where they're at. Yeah. Because that's... That's not good. That's unacceptable. <laughs> I'm no... I'm no... Cleared out. Cleared out. You gotta clear I'm no zero home. page homebrew. <laughs> that's right. I've had a lot of practice. Hours and hours of this Yeah, game. and this is your kind of game, too. Yeah, so in general, I've had practice at this type of game. And I just bought a... Um, Limited run games. Damn, see, like... um, PS4 game. That's an open world space shooter. Really? Like randomly generated open world space shooter where you have to collect, collect stuff and shoot bases. I don't know much about it, but it looked really good. I don't know if you've ever heard of um, limited run games. No, I mean I guess I can I can assume the idea. I mean like the concept is it. I mean it's a limited run. It must be right. Yeah. Um, what it is is they release games for the PS4 and now they release games for the um, Switch. And they take games that were only released uh, digitally yeah, and put them on disc. And oh, they that. put the final updated, fully updated version onto a disc. Oh, that's cool. So it's like, it's done, here's the perfect version. Usually with all like the bonus levels. And um, so it's really awesome. Because I don't like buying digital games because well, you, know, you don't own them. They turn off the server. You your your console gets broken. It's gone, gone forever. Get that chip. Oh, good, you got it. Even if I didn't, I probably could survive. Oh, I see. It's the last Thankfully, one. Thankfully, yeah. would have been fine. Okay, thanks for letting me repeat. Because now I feel like I at least if I <laughs> have die, a chance, I might. You know, 
I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> I just gotta be I want I want sixty, man. I want I want sixty's achievable for you, I, I think. Want, I wanna be on this board. Yeah. That's the funny thing about playing uh, this game with you, though, is it's like my turn definitely is <laughs> shorter, substantially but... quicker. <laughs> Which is good and bad. Uh, it's bad because I don't get much of a rest. <laughs> yeah. But it's good because I get to go again fairly oh, quickly. Oh, my God. See, like stupid oh, shit. Man. It's okay. You got yourself in, in a little you know, trap. You, get, you, you got to keep it open. That's you get kind I'm... of focused sometimes on yeah. like That's my advice. Just keep it open. Don't get in the thick of it. Stay out in the open space and clear your area out. Just slow beforehand. Yeah, it's a methodical game. And don't, yeah, don't go for the green. Don't go for the base unless your area is clean of ships. Like if that's coming, don't concentrate on that thing. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I'm Plus, get, you get points for those too. I'm getting some. So much. Yeah, free life. I'm getting some some pro tips yep. from the third place uh, <laughs> winner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know, I shouldn't say third place. Definitely, definitely fourth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> first out of the people who kind of who've submitted so far. Yeah. I'm thinking Arena's going to go back and he's going to give us. I think he uh, should. He's a good player. He he does really well at these contests. But if he's busy, he's not going to have the time to dedicate yeah. like hours like we're doing but, here. But you know, I'm I, if I'm doing okay. Yeah. Arena's, he can up it. He can up his game a little bit. Arena's Arena's going to come back. I just yeah. got a feeling about this. <laughs> and he does oh. too. He's done that. He's like, I put in my score, and he's like, boom. Never mind your score. Yeah. He he was just being nice. He's making me feel like I'm. <laughs> that's right. That's really what he did. But this is the last. It's not the very last, but it's the last. I think Wednesday, of the. Oh, because next Wednesday I'm not here. Where are you? Where are you going? Taking a little break, a little vacay. Oh. Whoa! Good job. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta like make sure I don't die. Yeah, Arena Foot says, "Yeah, I'm evil." He knows. He, he knows. knows what's Swoops up. Swoops in at the last second. Ups the he's game. The he's the Han Solo of this game. Mm -hmm. We're Luke Skywalker in this. That's he's right. like. Swoops in with the Millennium Falcon saves. That's the day. right, man. Go for How's it. How's it feel to be Han Solo, <laughs> Arena Foot? <That's> right. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. Next, next Wednesday, I'm not here, but I'm I'm here on the f this Friday and the next Friday. Um, but it, but it's fine. It's, it's just a Wednesday show. It's not a Friday show. Friday shows tend to be bigger. Well, we're doing. We always do new game. Well, it's actually random. It's totally dependent on. Okay, I'm in no the thick idea. of it. I'm oh, in the thick the of it. Get the hell out of that. I'm just trying to fly. Yeah, just keep I'm going. Just keep flying. Just keep flying. Just keep flying. There you go. Uh, I can say one thing about, you know, those formulaic movies. I love watching analysis of Disney movies and Marvel movies for the, their structure. Yeah. And their writing about what works, you know, what works in a movie. I mean, I, you know, they play on your emotions and they very you know structured in a very specific way but it is a way that works it's a way that's marketable it's a way that gets people emotionally involved in the characters and the story um it's a they're all very good um character arcs and story arcs yeah they're technically like yeah technically i don't know if i've told you this Perfect. like one of my favorite movies is training day because to me training day is like the most hollywood <laughs> it's so ridiculous i, like that. I did like that movie when it came it's out it's such a good like it's like everything that you love about hollywood where it's just so ridiculous <laughs> oh oh you're doing so good i was doing so well 46 very good still got two lives ish yeah, yeah this one -ish. And, yeah this one and the next one oh you're oh. See, you got yourself yeah. cornered in there you should have cleared out that asteroid first first yeah and just flown around a bit training day i only saw that i think when it came out and that's the last time i saw well, it's it it's so good and it's just so insane what oh, happens yeah. in it it's just such an insane movie it's, and like it's a, a corrupt cop with a new rookie cop right yeah he's like he's got the cops like 
in with the gangs That's and takes right. bribes. And, and like there's and like the cops like what the and hell then, is happening? And he makes him smoke drugs, <laughs> and he's just like, and then it you know, and then it turns out like oh, of course there's this, been this big bigger plot, and then he's like, and his first scene he's got his wife who's pregnant. It's just it's just they're just oh, hacking on it. Like the yeah. guy he saves this like woman, and he's like I'm hardened on the streets. Why'd you save this woman? But of course in the third act that's what saves him. Yeah, of course, <laughs> so it's, he's good with the gangs because oh, he saved it. 50. 51 that's good um oh you shit. no you should go again okay cool. i met my goal i'll see if i can get more if i go again you won't have another chance <laughs> that's okay. you'd have one more chance no. i say you go what i don't know if i want to do it again i know we'll i don't see. think i'll oh see so reset Let's see how i do arena foot says he'll take ham he'll good. take that as a as a character in, in this realm. In this realm. I thought, I thought yeah, I knew you'd like that. And like the original Han, none yeah. of this solo movie Han. We're talking original. Yep. Badass. You know, doesn't care about anybody kind of guy. It is really warm in this room. Oh, yeah. It's 27 degrees. Is it? Holy. Which is fairly warm. It's, it's it's a hot streak this this week. Oh yeah, it's been brutal, man. It's mid twenties to thirties, depending on where you are. A little bit, we get a little bit of relief where we live because it's kind of near the water, and we get you know like three degrees lower than if you're a little bit further in, away from the water. Yeah, I've positioned my uh, right hand in a different position ah, so okay. that I can That's kind good. of like because it's just too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I grip the joystick really tight and it just gets too much and I'm like wrecking, even my right hand, the, the fire button, oh, oh my holding God. it down so, is so just, dumb. this, I don't know why this hand sh is hurting. Well, just it's, put just, like it's a, just holding it in a, just put a clip on there yeah, or something. Yeah, <laughs> the, the draconian clip. Yeah, it's not cheating. Um, using the mega fire is cheating. Like the, any kind of, you're not allowed to do that in this tournament. Oh, it makes complete sense. Yeah, you can't use special things that help you out. You have to be playing. Yeah, like cool. that's part of the game, holding down the button to do automatic fire. Rena Foot's not a fan of the solo movie. Oh, I haven't seen it and I just don't care. I haven't it's heard just... good things about it. I'm not invested. I'm not a fanboy of Star Wars. I'm like, if it works, it's great. If it's like a good movie in the universe. Yeah, we live in Vancouver, and well, it's usually pot, and that I can tolerate, but cigarette smoke, I just, yeah, so nasty. Oh yeah, Arena Foot, thank you for posting the link to the Draconian um, uh, tournament. Hopefully, nobody's sniped in and and now even outdid my score. You that, never know, that, right? That there. happened, I think, on one of the things That's part of the adventure, though, man. That's how I went to play a game, and we were playing, and then after the game, I already moved down a level because somebody already sniped my score. I'm like, oh, God. So let me see if anybody is... No, no new posts. That's good. Yeah, so the top, the top players, I'll just go over that again. Um, Lid likes in television. Who's the? Oh, oh no! That was Did just... you die twice in a row? No, oh, okay. it was just three. It was just got converged. Oh. That one, why I don't feel bad about. Oh. It's okay. Yeah, it happens. Like you get caught. Like things come from all sides. There's nothing. There's almost nothing you can do except be super skillful and. But and... you're right that you gotta just like take your time. See. Oh. Yeah. That was rough. Um, Lid likes in television. Who's the host of this? Um, Spiceware, who made the game, <laughs> and then it's me at two hundred thousand, and then Retro Goober at one sixty-seven, Oyama Family at one thirty, Phantom of Crankor at what a six name! That's a good one. Phantom of Crankor at sixty-seven, Really Brett at sixty-one, uh, Beaver at sixty. And then your score, whatever it is, the highest, 45 or something. I think I got there. 51. 51? Okay, then it's you. And then it's uh, Dev Web CL at 15. Arena Foot at 14. Do better. Arthur at 11. 
Now Armin is gonna cancel this. Oh yeah, because he's got f six days more. That was. Uh, he can swoop in. That anytime. was. That was a tactic, man. Yeah. That was. Um, I don't know if I asked you if you saw the movie King of Kong. Yes, I have. Okay. I love that movie. It's it's like that movie where Billy Mitchell oh. at, the, at the last second submits his his score. That's right. That that beats uh, the other guy. <laughs> Our protagonist. He's just hard to like that Billy Mitchell. He is, and and people said, oh, he was done wrong. He was portrayed poorly in the movie. Well, of course he was. Because he's the bad guy in the movie. Yeah, of course he's to... going to pick out and make him look evil and get the right shots and make it look crazy. Whoa, my God, that was crazy. And you got the points. Somehow. Just get out of there. Take it from the outside. Edge. I'm done, though, man. I got, like, <laughs> I got no lives. Oh, my God. I'm not even that far. Get that yellow guy. He's going to come back. There you go. Oh, don't sacrifice yourself. I'm just doing my best. <laughs> They're throwing everything at you. Whoa, and you got the points too. Yeah. The stakes are high. Yeah. Actually, King of Kong is one of the best documentaries I've ever seen. Yeah, I love that In movie. In terms of so structure good. and the build up and just the timing of everything, it was just so good. Oh, oh man, 43. Okay. Arena Foot says he got his King of Kong DVD signed by both Billy Mitchell and Walter Day. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Should I do one more? Or should we call it? Nope. You do one more and then we'll call it. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. We'll see how I do. Yeah, I think you can do it. Just clear out clear out areas. See, you're getting in there where there's lots of lots of, um, lots of asteroids and stuff. Gotta, gotta clear it out a little bit. Um... Man vs. Snake. I did see that one just recently. What's that? Um, it's it's structured. Um, is it, what's it about? It's a documentary? Man vs. Snake is more of a one guy versus a machine. Um, rather than him like in a competition. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a video game uh, movie, just like King of Kong. Um, but... The snake game is more of a marathon game. Like, it takes a long, long, like, like I think it was like 25 hours or 30 hours to get the score that you need to get. Wow. So more it's about is you that the fighting one? yourself. What's what's the one, what kind of, like, is it the, like, Nokia phone snake? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's similar-ish, but it's in a maze. It's not an open. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's super fast. It's out of control fast. It's like you can barely tell what's going on in the screen. It only slows down when you get certain pellets on the screen. It's out of. It's crazy. I supposed to just recently saw King of Kong. Oh my oh. god! See, I can't even. No, Sector One. Oh good. I can't. Yeah. Didn't even get to Sector Two. Um. There's one more video game. I saw another one recently. Actually, like a video game documentary. Yeah. And it was it was a little oh no it was a mini do, it was a mini documentary it was like a half hour long and it was structured exactly like King of Kong like these people saw King of Kong and went ah oh, we can do that too um it and it was about it was about Donkey Kong too <laughs> it was about yeah so they basically remade it's a I popular mean, um oh game very, very 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 popular um I mean se second to Pac Man of the old school era. I mean, then there's Street Fighter and, and different eras of, of popular games. Um, but yeah, it's the same game. It was structured the same. I mean, these, these players were good. Like, they were the best in the world. Like, but they're the new, the next generation. Next best gen in the world. of people. Like, they eclipsed um, Billy Mitchell's and whatever. Are they, like, whatever is, on uh, emulator, or are they? Oh, no, no. These are arcade. They're legit. All legit. Playing emulator is, is not, doesn't mean much in that, in that realm. I guess it's why just because it's 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 just a tradition you know people played the arcade systems they're less alterable like it's harder to cheat when you're in front of somebody with the actual arcade machine with the settings you can inspect it um, you know maybe it's a hacked ROM I guess it's just or the something. standard yeah it's the, the gold standard 
Oh, Arena Foot has an autographed movie poster for Man vs. Snake, too. Very cool. Yeah, I, I would recommend Man vs. Snake. It's it's a crazy, crazy movie. It's not it's not King of Kong, but it feels more a little bit more authentic, maybe. Like even watching King of Kong, you're like, hmm. They played with the timeline a bit. Yeah, probably. they're they played with how wholesome he, the the Manga. protagonist he's just was. A, he's just an ordinary just a, guy. He's just from... a teacher. He's trying to do good. He's, he's, he's just had a rough just his life. hobby, you know. Yeah. And, and and I I can you can always sense in a documentary when they fake it a little bit. They play things up or they play things down or they're deliberately avoiding certain topics or they cut things out or compressed for time or recreations. Oh my god. Yeah. Errol Morris is the only guy I really <laughs> love his recreations because they're so they're like cinematic movies. Yeah. If you're if it's obvious, fine. But, but there's but there's like reality TV show type yeah. level of like recreation. And then it's like, oh my god, god, please don't. You know where the shots are like super cinematic and they're like upset or whatever. We well, need clearly like three cameras to mm. conceivably. And sometimes they do. I mean, I mean, we like in in my documentary there are some. There's some shots like that, but we're recreating moods, not moments. Like we don't fake any, we don't fake any moments in the film. <laughs> no, it's like it's legit. Like everything in the film is super. Well, there's legit. there's also just like some reality of just editing, where sometimes yeah. you cut things together that you know the person wouldn't have necessarily been in that place. But uh, yeah, I didn't do that. I didn't do that, which is good. Um, Everything oh they my did, God. everything yeah, my characters did, they were doing at that time. That's a big deal. Yeah. Um, they weren't out, out of order or anything like that. Like, things were real. I, that's what we wanted, because I, I, I hate movies that are not, not real. And, and you have to do that sometimes because it's hard to capture reality as it unfolds in real time. Like, you're going to miss... Oh, my God. Just... <laughs> you're it's... going to miss those moments in life. You can't be filming 24 hours a day. Yeah, and, you, and at the end of the day, you're telling a story. You are. That's the most important. He says, Tim, v Tim McVeigh scored the first billion points back in the 80s and won a machine. The movie is about others beating his high score and him returning to try to compete 40 years later. That's what it is. Wow. That's right. Um, he even corrected his spelling because Arena is precise. That's right. you got to get the record straight. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Arena Foot and I have some big news eventually oh. <laughs> to tell people. And I hope, I'm hope i hoping any day that's the tease, that we'll be man. able to do it. Oh, tell it me is. off camera. No, that's <laughs> no, I, I'm so bad. I shouldn't have said that. I'm just immediately, I'm like, I'm like I'll get privy to this. <laughs> um, it's really exciting. And, and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and it, and we'll be able to tell people, I'm pretty sure any day now. Oh, good. And, um, yeah, it'll be, whoa. <laughs> yeah, they split off like that. Oh, so it's like, no, God. you're not getting the bonus points. <clears throat> R.I.P. Actually, you know, let's see, 800 of, you know, those yellow ships, they're worth a lot of, a lot of points. Yeah. They're worth 800. That's and they come deal. fairly often. So, but you're not allowed to grind in this uh, competition. Not allowed to just sit and wait for yellow ships in an empty area of space. That makes complete sense, yeah. man. I, I was going to calculate, oh, how long would it take to uh, just do yellow ships up to... Uh... <laughs> Let's do that anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's a good method, though, in the end, anyway. Super boring. Because I think at a certain point... So let's do the 200,000 that I got, divided by 800 points. You have to get 250 ships. And let's uh, let's do a count how fast they come on the screen the next time I see one. Okay, one. Oh, this is worth, that one was worth 400. Oh, 
So. Oh, when it comes back, it's worth more. Seventeen seconds. So let's say twenty seconds. So we have to get two hundred and fifty of them. And uh, yeah, twenty seconds. Um, times twenty seconds divided by sixty seconds. <laughs> oh yeah, it's way too long. Yeah. Uh, one and a third hours. Oh. I just. I mean, you get the other points by killing formations and stuff. So it would probably take 45 minutes, which is way slower than what I did. And if you're good enough to constantly kill yellow ships without a, without missing one of you, them... You may as well. It's better to just play properly. Yeah. I know! Don't stop! <laughs> that is, oh, 61. That's awesome. Uh, Arena Foot says, yeah, still waiting for a third before the announcement. Hey! Saying too much, Arena Foot. Giving too many. No, that's Given pretty, too many that's pretty uh, vague statement, actually. Oh, oh see. no. Oh, no. should have waited for him to come back. Still you're doing good. You're almost uh, at 100. Well, no, don't need to do this. Let's say I almost at 75. I would not say almost at 100. <laughs> let's go for the three quarters. <laughs> I would. That's, that's being very optimistic. Whoa. No. See, you were being chased by somebody. You shouldn't you should take out the guy you're being chased with by before going for it. Unless you got a clear, clear, clear shot. Yeah. Because he was right on your tail and you were very lucky. I mean you, you got out of it, but No, you're right, luck is There you go. Oh, good one. Good I one. I know man, I did not think that one was gonna happen. This game is amazing of how many things are on the screen and how little flicker there is. And how little flicker there is matter that matters. Because there is flicker, but it's like, it doesn't even bother you. Because it comes and goes because the ships are changing position so fast. It's just, it's unbelievable how well this is programmed. And oh, 74. And I got some more That's points awesome. too. That's man. really good. Like really good. Yeah. 75, you made it. And, yeah, and you got another ship because you made it to 70. That's awesome. Yeah, I would start doing that tactic. I think you were that's what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just sort of struggling now to to just not die. Yeah, it's it, that tactic is like minor adjustments, then going back. Yeah, that's that's how you do it. Jinx him for one th one hundred thousand. No, I'm not gonna do it. No, I already said it. I already said it, so I don't need to say it again. I think. See, Ooh, it's things see? like that yeah. that are stupid. Because it gives you too much bravado when you're like, ah, oh, and I'm doing awesome. And I got these moves. It's easy. It's a slow game. It is. It's it's slow and steady. Wins the race in that's this game. Correct. You can't. There's rush no. into it don't bother because it's, it's not a good tactic I don't know how much those are worth i don't think they're worth too much because they're fairly easy to just stay in front of well no really see that got 800 but i don't know why that one got 800 and, and the other ones did because he must have gone off screen and came back like really quick maybe yeah um because it's it's 400 then 800 when he does a, his second return uh, E-type missile is only 70. Yeah, they're not worth much, those red missiles that they shoot out from the from the pods. See, it's really easy to kill once you Yeah, know. yeah. So it's a fast way to get through. Oh, no. Whoa, oh. that was tough. That was really tough. 92. But I got a couple lives left. Yep. I got two more. What are you oh, doing? That would be the worst de death ever. <laughs> I know. I was, I was like celebrating. Yes. And then... That's how it happens. Drinking too much before you got in your spaceship. <laughs> Celebrating right. with the champagne. Early. Whoa. Oh my god, man. See, it's like, it's not an easy. Whoa. That was a pix like pixel. Just one pixel off oh being my dead. Oh god, I know, man. This is not good. I, I, I was. Getting too bravado. Too brave. Take, it, take it slow. Yeah. Take it slow. Yeah, take it easy. Whew. Leave yourself space. 
leave yourself space. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they came right out of there. Yeah, you gotta turn around really quick when those big formations come. Because you're going that way, they're coming towards you. It's like fast what reflexes. What a waste. Yeah, that was... Oh. Damn, 96. 96, that's okay. That's about as good. That's a PB. Look at the Forever sweat on this. Oh my God. All over. But that's a mark of like oh. a good a good game. Oh. There's both our scores. Yes. Right there. Right there. High five. Congrats, James. Congrats I beat to my, you too. I thought I, was, I wanted to beat 70. And you just and eclipsed I, it. Oh. So that puts you... It's fine. Way out. up there. Like, way up there. Um, so, if I include my score, one, two, three, four, five, uh, sixth. It's in sixth. sixth place. That's not bad. I'll probably be on the, on the leaderboard. Yeah, you'll probably get a point because the first 10. I think everybody gets a point, actually. You get um, 10 points for first, and then it counts down, and then it stops at one, and everybody just keeps getting a point wow. so that you everyone. Everyone gets a blue ribbon. Yes. So, but I think you'll stay, judging from this, stay on the leaderboard. Because I know some of these are people who will go back and try and beat yeah, for sure. up their scores. Like, I know Arena Foot's going to do another another pass. And some of these people have already upped their scores. I know I added Phantom of Crankor's score and Dev right Web CL back in. Because the last time he, he the uh, Lid Likes and Television did the yeah. score rankings... They already did another game, so. But ninety six thousand is, is for your first time, time on playing it? it. Yeah, Whew. that's good stuff. Thanks, Arena Foot. <laughs> yeah, congrats. Oh, so that uh, and it's nine o'clock in the dot. It's perfect Damn. timing, like per usual. I don't know. It always seems to work out that it's at the two hour mark. Everything kind of comes together yeah unless we're doing like super marathons that i know that it's not gonna oh, it's just... gonna take longer um so uh next friday show it's gonna be a whole bunch of brand new games Ooh. that we have never played on the show before there's atari down there see on the no he doesn't quite make it into that nice. webcam you might cry there we go there Man. now he's on the camera and this now he's gone. <laughs> he's like, no. He might hang for a bit. Maybe. Okay, so on Friday, we're going to be playing uh, Quantum Tunnel, work in progress. This is a work in progress uh, day on Friday. So all work in progress games. We did play Quantum Tunnel when I did the Retron 77, that new console. Yeah. But it looked terrible it's on it. Still pretty rough. Pretty not the, the game didn't look rough it's just it just didn't work well with the retron 77 because oh, it just, so i want to give it a, a fair that shot retron 77s it's not good it's a good concept but i would hold off till a lot of more things are fixed on it why does my wrist hurt <laughs> this one play? yes more so than this why one. i think it's just you holding oh, it. oh it's in one spot uh, that's right so it's cramping up this one is not bad but this one um, mine still hurts it's all messed up you're right about the clip you just yeah just clip it on there <laughs> of course when you're dead it'll just start the game over immediately and yeah. so you have to see your high score quick um anyway we're gonna do quantum tunnel again because i didn't think it showed it off very well um and i've been talking with the the programmer and so hopefully he'll be here wow. and i did and i did a quick trial run on an, a real atari because he hadn't done that yet and it looks good there's good. tiny tiny glitches that you could barely see so he may fix those in the meantime before friday but if he doesn't it's totally fine uh satan's hollow 2600 that is a game i love i played it a ton in the arcade and on my commodore 64. this is an early work in progress but very 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 cool it's wow. playable it's totally playable um palomino it's like a tetrisy matching block game super cool work in progress white water madness um kind of a simple but cool game uh draco um you're a dragon and you're shooting things and it sounds fun. horizontal shooter it's it's a rough game but it looks like fun I want to give it a good shot and see see how it is. Uh, Robo Ninja Climb, leaving the uh, a really fun one for last. Yeah. You're a little robot. You're jumping, and there's obstacles. And it's like Wall Jump Ninjas, a similar yeah, similar ish. 
kind of. It's got similar it's mechanics. It's got jumping and it has walls. <laughs> exactly. It does both of those. But you're a robot this time. <laughs> <clears throat> so that'll be um, 2 p.m. on Friday. Uh, Darcy may be here. Uh, I don't know if you're available. No, not this no. <laughs> Fridays are not usually no, good. No, not yeah. I have uh, okay. work, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, so Darcy should be here. If he's not here, I'll have to confirm with him. It'll move to 7 p.m. and I'll play it with Tanya. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that is a good lineup for Friday. So hopefully everybody can be there. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Uh, Arena Foot, I supposed to... Thunkist. Yeah, thanks guys. This was a funny one to, to watch. I appreciate yeah. you guys sticking out. And thanks for uh keeping witnessing. The scores. Yeah, keeping the scores and witnessing some like high scores. Yeah. And some, this was, that was my best score ever. Yeah, Your best score like ever. Personal best. <laughs> I, you know. Dan A V C Lord Monkus, Ground Trooper. Trooper. A lot of people talking. Thank That's you for right. hanging thanks, out. Guys. Uh Blush. Satan Ho Satan's Hollow from 2012. Did you get the one with the new bird hit sound? That's a very good question. I can't remember sound. If I didn't, please message me on the Atari Age forum so I make sure I have the newest one. Actually, let me just tell you what date I have on it. Uh, oh, it's the one you gave me. So I just put... Oh, no, it's 2018-07-08, so I just put that on it. Or you you named it that, so... Yeah, uh, maybe in, unless you put some bird sounds recently. <laughs> it should be the newest one, but you can check. That's the date on it. Uh, the, yeah, dot .base.bin, dot 2018-07-08c.base.bin, dot dot basic. Um, so that's it for us. Um, so check us out on next... Friday and we're off next Wednesday if you're a Wednesday watcher. Yeah. I guess that means there might I'll, be some I'll, Wednesday I'll, watchers I'll only. Yeah, so bad. he'll be back. But I'll be, in I'll be two back weeks, in two I weeks. Guess. Yeah. Um I don't know what I don't know what we'll be playing in two weeks. I only have next show planned. Wow. We might Woo. Yeah, I don't know. You'll we'll have, have to, to see. Yeah, yeah. you don't, don't want to make next, any promises. Yeah, yeah, next Friday I might go back to an all cartridge um uh playthrough because i have a bunch of new cartridges that i that you guys saw in my unboxing video that i did recently um so yeah i probably delve into those get through some of those um so we will see you on friday or he'll see you in uh, it's a couple two weeks, weeks. <laughs> and um so thanks for hanging out and uh we'll see you later see you later bye bye